everybody and welcome to another Cumberland County Library virtual program. My name is Jesse Jones and I am the Youth Services Librarian at West Regional Library and today we're going to talk about one of our databases. So today I have our library's website page open and the quickest link to get to our library page is www.cumberland.com countync.gov slash library. And so when you get to our page, you're going to scroll down to this little box where it says resources and research. And if you click that, you'll see some images that have different um, options for you. But what we want to do is go all the way to the bottom where it has a list of our databases from A to Z. And we are going to click B because we're going to be looking at the BrainFuse Help Now database. And so as you can see, we have actually three different BrainFuse databases. The Help Now one offers students assistance with homework and test preparation, and it includes live online tutoring from 2 p.m. to midnight and a 24-7 writing lab. So I'm going to go ahead and click onto the database now. And as you can see, it's giving me a warning that I'm leaving the Cumberland County website. And this is because I'm actually in the library right now and I am being automatically redirected to the database. If you are not at the library when you're trying to use this database, you will be asked to put in your library card number and your PIN. And for those of you who don't know, your PIN number is going to be the first four letters of your last name, all in capital letters. That's the default that we set it for you. Now you might have changed it if you've had your library card for some years, or it might have not gotten set up correctly. So if that's the case, you can call us or uh, send us a message um, and we will take a look at that for you. So onto the database, you can see that there are three main uh, sections of this database, and we're going to start with the smaller sections. Um, so first we have expert help, study, and collaborate. And as you can see, most of the features are under expert help, but I'm going to kind of skip over that for right now and go first to study. And they have three different ways that you can study. They have the LEAP learning platform. And if we click into there, um, you'll see that you do have to have an account to use some of these resources. So you just need a username and password for this account. And I have asked it to save my information. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. And now you'll see that there are all kinds of practice exams. Um, there's college readiness exams and all different kinds of things that you can use to prepare for different kinds of tests. And this ranges from college prep exams like the ACT and all the way to uh, the GED and like middle school math exams. So these are all really good tools for students from any grade level. So we'll go ahead back here. Oh, and it's making me log in again. Hang on, let me go back to the home page. There we go. Um, then we have Flashbulb, and this is a way to create and share flashcards. As you can see, there's already some pre-loaded um, content areas in here. And so if you just click on like languages, you'll see that there are all these folders up here of uh, languages that people have already created flashcards for. And there are some that BrainFuse has already created as well. So you can look down here and see, these are ones that uh, people have created and shared on the website. And if you just go into, let's say finish, and you can look in here and see all of the types of things that people have added. And uh, if you just click, it looks like, you know, simple flashcards. This would be for the person who is 
testing the other person, the person uh, would see the flashcard and then ask the other person the question naturally. So let's go ahead and go back. And now we're going to look at e-parachute. This is a way for people who are going to college or have just started in college to kind of get an idea of their aptitude, their interests, their skills, and maybe have an idea of what major they want to go into or what career type would suit them. So this can be really helpful for people who are kind of struggling, you know, what should I do after I get out of school? Should I go to college? Should I go to trade school? That sort of thing. And we'll head back to the main page and look at Collaborate. Collaborate has Meet and Brainwave. So Meet is basically like a Zoom or um, a Teams meeting room, but you don't have to have those kinds of software downloaded or create an account for those. So you can schedule a meeting session with your friends and you just have to have the Brain uh, Fuse database available. And then Brainwave is a movie-like notes um, that you can create and you can share with other people. Unfortunately, the library is empty right now, so I haven't seen any, but maybe you will be the first to create one and see how that works. So now we'll get into the meat of the database. Um, one of the great things that they have is live tutoring, and that is every day from 2 p.m. to midnight Eastern Standard Time. And if there is any reason why the tutors wouldn't be available, they will give you a note up here. Uh, maybe there's a holiday or something like that. And to get into the live tutoring, you would come in here and just pick your grade level K through uh, 12. You can also talk about uh, if you're studying for the ACT, for college, if you need FAFSA assistance, the, a the SAT, all of that. And another thing I want to point out is that you can get tutored in Spanish if you check this little box here. So that's a really cool feature that BrainFuse offers as well. Then you have the Writing Lab, and it's a similar uh, thing. You can go in here. Um, you can um, upload your file, um, whatever you've written, and you can add some comments, like maybe if it's a, for a work or for school, you could put in the parameters of what you're supposed to be doing. Um, so the tutor will know what to look for and then you submit and they will give you feedback, usually within one business day in the message center. And then we're going to go home again. And the skill surfer is one of the biggest sections of this database and it goes from lower elementary school all the way through college, college prep, even into like adult learner resources and life skills. And if you click into these different sections, I'm just going to go with high school. It covers different subject areas and these are like mini lessons that you can take to just brush up on information. Maybe you're struggling with a certain area and you need a little bit more information. So for example, let's go into the US civics and government. It breaks it down even further into subcategories. So government structure, presidents, and histor historical documents. So you can um, pick and choose what you're, you're really not getting enough information about. And they have all different kinds of like, they have documents, they have links to other websites, they have practice quizzes. Some of the um, topics also have videos that you can watch. So it's really um, all encompassing. And like I said, it goes from lower elementary all the way into like life skills. So if you click into that, you can look at things like time management, media literacy, um, emergency preparedness, all kinds of really great things to learn about and just be a well-rounded individual. All right. Um, and then send a question. 
This is similar to if you need tutoring, you can select your grade and your subject. You can put in the question and you can upload a file if you need to, and you can submit the question. And then one of the tutors will get back within a business day. This is um, typically for if the tutors aren't available when you need help with something or if it's a little bit more complex. All right, and then we have the language lab. This is awesome because it helps for people who are learning a language and it can also help with people whose first language is not English. So again, you just uh, click the subject area. And so right now they just have Spanish, um, but you can get live help from a tutor with uh, Spanish. And then they also have this vocabulary builder um, to help you with flashcards, quizzes, pronunciations uh, for when you're learning a new language. And then we have this featured service at the very end. Um, you can learn how to play chess and improve your chess skills. And you can also get live help with the FAFSA, which is the um, documents that you have to fill out in order to find out if you qualify for funding for college. So this is a big help, especially for people who are first generation college students. So this is just a really a full service database. It's great for students of any age. And there's also one more thing that I want to mention. I haven't dug into it too much, but if we go ahead and log back into my account real quick and I click on my account, you will see that there is an app for this database. I don't know how much that's in the database is in the app because I haven't messed with the app too much, but um, you can take this on the go with you and you may not need to have a specific um, connection with your uh, library. So this is another thing that you guys can look into and play around with so you can have access to these resources even if you're not um, at the library or at home. So that is my presentation for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or if you're interested in more programs like this, you can visit our website at www.cumberlandcountync.gov library, or you can call us at 910-483 7727. Thanks and have a good one.